All right, guys, just want to show you my pyramid that I made. This is the first pyramid that I've ever done, and it turned out pretty good. It's um very polished, but um you can see in there I've got the copper coil. Uh, well, there's three copper coils. Um, one is that uh, piece of clear quartz in there that's wrapped, uh, clockwise wrap, and uh, that there. And there's one on the bottom. Now you've got some amethyst, you've got some selenite, and there's two other pieces of clear quartz. You can't see this one here, uh, but you can just see that one there. So three uh, clear quartz as well. And this is a nice golden pyramid, as you can see. Like, it looks really good. Nice and golden, as you can see. So, yeah. I'll show you some more. We'll go inside and have a look. And, uh, yeah. All right, so I'll run through just uh, what we've got. This isn't all of them, by the way. And I'll um, run you through what I've got on the go at the moment. Like, there's um, some Organite in process. So, um, yeah, um, this here's new. So this is my first charge plate. Um, yeah, it come up really good, especially with that uh, the triskelion or um, the Henneke uh, copper coil there, which has its benefits um, in and of itself. Just that copper coil there will structure water. It's beneficial for humans and uh, your food and stuff like that. Um, curly and photographer, um, photography, you can take an image of that and you can see the energy is just pulsing off of it. So it's within... Um, uh, well, it's within all this brown is like is copper powder as well. So you've got your three um, clear quartz wrapped in copper and uh, your selenite, you got amethyst and you got hematite around the edge. So that's a nice uh, charge plate there. So yeah, um, moving on, um, you've seen the pyramid, absolutely gorgeous pyramid. You get the rainbow effect in, effect in there as well. Um, yeah, it's very nice, very clear, very polished. All my stuff's very polished. Um, yeah, it just is. Um, and I've got my way of doing that. But, um, yes, yeah, so these are some of the ones, um, in case you haven't really seen. Now, if you've seen my last video, these ones here were the ones that come out of the mould. There's still a couple more that I need to um, polish up. But um, these here are what they've turned out to be like, so really nice. Um, and these ones here are my favourite. Uh, see how they're all laid and they've got the rings around there, all copper powder. Um, it's good stuff, it's good stuff. So I might do the process of showing you guys how I actually go about getting them to this stage. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's them. Um, as well, pendants. Now we've got a few pendants on the go over there, I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, this is what I come up with for this one here. So once again, it's copper powder. Um, you can see the copper. Yeah, and on the back, we've got just all your aluminium and brass shavings there. Pretty uh, compacted in there. And uh, yeah, that's a real nice one. I've been wearing that. So yeah, we stick um, the bales on. If you don't know, that's what they are. They're the bales if you're going to do a pendant. And I uh, just stuck a on a piece of string, a necklace. And I tied it in a way I know how to tie it so you can uh, adjust this when you wear it. Um, this is a potential, another pendant. So that's what I did for this one. So I just need to stick the bail on there. And uh, that there's a pendant ready to go. Now I've been wearing this and I've been feeling awesome. Um, my energy has been, I've had a lot more energy and since I've worn that, that the, yeah, I've just been feeling so much better. So um yeah, um there's a couple of other videos where I've you know showed you these. You know, they, they come out really nice. That's what we do. Um but yeah. Alright, I might move on and show you guys um some of the other ones that we got underway. Alright, so what we got here is this here is all pendants. This is what we're going to be doing. This is what I've got set up so far. So, you know, you got your, your nine there. You've got all copper coils. A little bit different, some of them are, how they are structured. But I've got most of them with the ends bent up so it goes into the actual substrate of the organite, the metal powders, and the resin mix. So they'll be sticking up little prongs. Um, these ones here, I've done the first layer. Like, I haven't poured. I need to pour. I need to pour some quartz crystal and stuff like that and all of these ones over here. But I've done these three. So, but they're a bit different. Just got a quartz crystal, copper wrap, selenite, hematite, amethyst in these ones. And this one here's got, um, what is it? 
that stuff. Carnelian. So it's got carnelian, hematite, and selenite in that one. Um, this is what my girlfriend's got on the way. Uh, these ones here should be quite nice. Uh, you got your flower of life uh, sticker there. Well, it's actually um, a metal. It's actually metal. Um, it's made out of. Um, but yeah, this is what she's designed. So she's done that. Amethyst hematite, selenite, and uh, hematite butterfly. You've got rose quartz in there and a a goldstone heart in there. And here we have another charge plate going on. It's nearly the same, but different all at the same time. Um, we're using different metals as well. This is aluminium powder, which is fine. That's great metal to use. Um, yeah, and it's just uh, it's set up a little bit different, but the same idea. Uh, you'll see that when it's finished. I'll probably do a video on that. I need to do another pour or do a whole another layer and uh, fill it right up to the um, right up to the brim there. But uh, yeah, and as well, we've got a pyramid underway as well. A little bit of a different design, but this is it. This is my pyramid mold. So um, yeah, guys. Um, yeah, in case you guys are interested, this is my 20 kilo drum of clear casting resin. <laughs> so um, this here is pretty good stuff as well. Uh, 500 mil um, catalyst there. Um, it's good stuff to use. I love the drum. Uh, it makes it so much easier to use. Um, I might run you through another video about the process and how I actually extract it and mix it and do all that. Um, and the cleanup and things like that. The behind the scenes sort of mess. Um, yeah, but guys, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe. Cheers.